And so this is the imperative, very key, important advice that Keisha has taken herself. And she'll continue. She shares her story. This is sleep on your stomach at all times with COVID. If you can't sleep on your stomach because of health issues, sleep on your side. Do not lay on your back no matter what, because it smashes your lungs and that will allow fluid to set in. Set your clock every two hours while sleeping on your stomach, then get out of bed and walk for 15 to 30 minutes, no matter how tired or weak that you are. Also, move your arms around frequently. It helps to open your lungs. Breathe in through your nose and out through your mouth. This will help build up your lungs, plus help get rid of the pneumonia and other fluid you may have. When sitting in a recliner, see, you know how many people are probably going home, kicking back in the recliner. I mean, back way back, right? When Mm -hmm. sitting in a recliner, sit up straight. Do not lay back in the recliner. Again, this will smash your lungs. While watching TV, get up and walk during every commercial. Eat at least one to two eggs a day, plus bananas, avocado, and asparagus. These are good for uh, potassium. Drink Pedialyte, Gatorade Zero, Powerade Zero, and water with electrolytes to prevent you from becoming dehydrated. Do not drink anything cold. Have it at a room temperature or warm it up. Water with lemon and a little honey, peppermint tea, apple cider are good suggestions for getting in fluids. And I've seen all those pictures you've had, Keisha. No milk products or pork. Vitamins D3, C, B, zinc, probiotic. Um, one day are uh, one a day are good ideas and Tylenol for fever. Mucinex or Mucinex DM for drainage. Plus it helps the cough. Pepsid helps for cramps in your legs. And Keisha, don't let me forget, you mentioned that to me yesterday. One baby aspirin every day can help prevent getting a blood clot, which can occur from low activity. Drink a smoothie of blueberries, strawberries, bananas, honey, tea, and a spoon, uh, a two, uh, a spoon or two of peanut butter. Uh, we always hear of how COVID takes lives, but there isn't a lot of information out there regarding how to fight it at home. Uh, and then you just said, I hope that this helps, uh, someone and you know, that you said, I I know that it helped me. So, um, so Keisha, tell us then, uh, about how you were able to apply all of these things at home, you know, based on what we were talking about yesterday and that post that you just, uh, that I had read, uh, that you had put there on your page for the Mm -hmm. cramping, the headaches and Mm -hmm. keeping the lungs moving. Yeah, I had, um, well, I did the, um, I, I kind of put everything in order where I have my vitamins rolled out first. Okay. That's the first thing I like to do in the beginning of my day sure. is get all my vitamins because right. I need all my strength. Right. And um, I mean, you need your strength just to go from one room to another, you know, um, and, you know, especially if your house is big enough, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's, this is taking all your, it's targeting your lungs and it's taking all your energy. That's the first thing. Yesterday you had told me that, that you felt like you had just run a marathon and you know, our muscles fatigue after, you know, an intense workout or an intense Mm -hmm. game or match or something. Right. Mm -hmm. Yet, of course Mm -hmm. you had not barely even walked across the room. No, no. And it, and it's like, um, it's like you, your body's been hit. And I think that comes from the chills, you know, your muscles contracting cause you have the chills mm-hmm. for so long. I mean, I had the chills for over 24 hours. Mm. I was shaking, mm. like I was shivering. Mm. And so then you have the bot, the roll, the body aches start to roll in mm-hmm. and then the headaches start to roll in. So mm. all that stuff is going on and it's hitting your body and your body is fighting. Like, you know, it, it's, it's, all of my engines were running. I could tell that something had attacked my body. Mm-hmm. All my engines were on fire right. trying to fight it. I could sure. feel it inside of me. Mm-hmm. And so when I got up, you know, when I got everything together, my, um, my little personal pharmacy together and I would go to the kitchen to try to make, um, the scrambled eggs or whatever they're telling you to eat. Right. Um, that's, I, I, I walked from the room where I'm uh, quarantined to the kitchen and I had to stop at the kitchen sink for a second mm. because I was taught, like, I was taught, like, 
I was tired. Exhausted. Yeah. Completely exhausted. Yeah. <laughs> and then I had to turn around and scramble the eggs for myself mm -hmm. and then turn around and walk back to the quarantine room with my little scrambled egg. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I got back to my bed, I fell into my yes. bed and those eggs sat there. But, you know, it's just, it takes a lot out of you. Mm -hmm. So if you can see in the picture, I kind of have my vitamins up front because yep. those are the things that I take kind of first. Mm -hmm. And then the rest of the day is about tackling the symptoms because I don't want anything to get out of whack where it's getting ignored mm -hmm. and it causes a domino effect with the rest of my body or my organ. Right. So um, I start, I would lay everything out. My vitamins would happen first. And then I'd start looking at, okay, do I have a headache? And that means sitting there and really paying attention to your body sign. Mm -hmm. you know? yes. So I, I got, I had to get to a quiet place, like sit, sit up on the edge of my bed and close my eyes and assess how does my body feel right now? Yes. How does my head feel? How does my arms feel? Yes. What's my heart rate like? What's my breathing like? Does it feel like it's pressure when I breathe? Um, when I stretch out my legs, does it hurt? Does it feel tight? Mm -hmm. um, my arms, I would raise my arms and see if they felt sore and bring them back down all the way to see if that felt sore. And, right. and out of all of that, I would be able to know which thing I needed to take next. Mm -hmm. A self-assessment, a self-evaluation. And I love how you, you were so pur purposeful and intentional in doing that because uh, personally, I've known maybe 120 or so people that, that have had COVID um, personally. And um, I've talked to many people uh, about this all around the world. And I just keep hearing so many people talking about going home and um, taking their fluids, taking their, um, their prescription and their Tylenol, but going to bed and getting as much sleep as possible. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Uh -uh -uh -uh. No, I slept, my average sleep time with this is about four hours. Mm -hmm. I get about mm. four hours of sleep and then I'm up and down every hour. I'm up and down Moving. for one, for one, because you have so many things, your body is fighting. It's interrupting your sleep. Yes. It's, it won't let you sleep mm -hmm. because you've it's got not real sleep. It's no. not real sleep. Like my no. stomach um, stayed it's upset. Sick. My stomach stayed upset for a while. So I had to constantly like that probiotic. I had to make sure I got that down yes. in the beginning of the day because I stayed, you know, I stayed sick to my stomach the right. rest of the day. So I was like, you know, there's things you just have to pay attention to. Yes. Everything you have to pay attention to and you just have to treat it as it comes up. Yes. 